I believe we're live. And there, that must be Ron. Dr. Kaz, how you doing? Uh, Ron, if you can hear me, I didn't boot you. Just use the link that I sent you before and uh, you should get back in. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, I've been working on a two cam setup. I might have to tell Ron that he can just use the link and come back in. So hey Charles, <laughs> hey Gino. Yes, uh, two cam. Let's see. Uh, let me let me let me text this uh, Ron guy. Um, should work. It's the one trouble I've had with Melon is when we go live, it go it. Takes me to a whole whole new stream. It says joining. Okay, his his end is joining. Not not all of Ron, just his end. Okay. I guess I'll have to send it again. I have no idea what's up with that, but okay. So I will invite a guest. I will copy link. Maybe it is different. Um, so this is my first attempt. Uh oh, what's Ron say? I, I don't need a screenshot, sir. <laughs> uh, and send. Maybe it doesn't like Ron. I don't know. <laughs> yes, your extended warranty is almost about to expire, and you should call us. Okay, I sent you a new ring. Uh, new ring. I sent you a new link now, Ron. I put Ron and Link together and came up with Rink. He's whining. He he's he's whining at me. He's tried twice. I don't know these scheduled live scream scream live screams. I'm doing doing great so far, right? Got my readers handy because even after my there he is. He's loading. Uh, he doesn't want to be shown on screen. Ron, can you talk? Ron, I think I'm gonna have to show him. Ron. Yeah. Okay. Now I can hear you. All right. Now you went off screen, right? Uh, sure. Wherever you. Okay. Want. Now can you hear me? <laughs> when yeah, you're I'm... off, when you're off, uh, when you're off screen, it's it's can't hear you. Now what the heck? We just went through this. I don't know. Is there a setting? that changed from when we were just streaming a second before we went live? I have no idea. The, the The thing I have noticed with this when I schedule a stream is it, number one, it seems like it's not letting you use the same link, right? Correct. Number two, I don't know why... I don't know why it... Uh, is is giving you the problem that we're having um, with the sound? I can hear you. Can well, anybody what, out there in YouTube land hear Ron? Ron? Well, they, they probably can hear me if you could hear me. True. Now, didn't last night when you were doing it, you got to just pin yourself, right? Because when you did whatever you just did last night, it kicked me out too. You had to do okay. it a different way. Let's let's try that. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. All right. Do whatever you just did from now on. 
Well, yeah, it's like when I hide you on stream, it takes your voice away. Now, this is something I was saying. Remember, I told you I, I saw a YouTube video earlier this week about StreamYard, that they seem to have fixed that problem. Like, if you don't want to be seen but heard, mm -hmm. they have that little feature now. There's Dr. Kaz doing his John Ron genome. Yes, can hear you. Okay. If he can hear genome, there's something, something right, new. something yeah, very right something, going on. There's there's something very weird. But anyway, okay, so um, I've been wanting to do a two camera setup for the the face cam because you all have requested to see my my beautiful face and quaff of hair here, uh, gray as it may be. It's still there. <laughs> Just having a lot of fun, maybe. Maybe for me, maybe not for you. Um, but let's see which uh, which shot I'm going to get here. Okay, so we got the little John, so to speak. I think that's what my wife uh, has me nicknamed, little John. There we go. Uh, so we look good to go, right? Yeah, Kaz does need some Christmas in the back. Well... It's it is a work in pro uh, in progress, Doctor Kaz. Uh, it took me long enough to figure out in my small bedroom with when I moved this big desk in and a desktop and a, a huge monitor and drawing board and microphone. It took me long enough to figure this out. Now I've got to go round up everything in my room and clean again and try to get this consolidated so it becomes a more feasible way for me to work. And probably uh, not in this coming week, but in the weeks to come, what I, the reason I set this up is so I could start doing a Twitch stream because um, only for the fact that it's kind of come to my attention that Twitch streams are more about this, the face cam with the art, whereas YouTube stuff, I think it would be better if I do um, like a, a produced video, you know, a little higher end quality where it's not live, where I can edit uh, sound effects, transitions, scene changes, even though you know, how much of a scene change am I going to have except my drawing board? So anyway, I am going to put on my glasses, which I was hoping I wasn't going to have to use. These are just a cheap pair of Walmart readers. 1.25%, but that's what I need now when I'm doing close-up work. I have, my distance is great. My mid-range is fine. Uh, my eyes are dry. I suffer from very dry eyes, so uh, drops are essential to me. And I should have been using them all along, but I didn't. So if you well, saw me before the operation with glasses, pretty much the same same look. And I made sure I didn't get, well, I did accidentally buy a pair of the readers that are just actually meant to go on the tip of your nose so you can like lay in bed and read a book or something. And I, I think they're in my other room and I can't stand those. These actually have a little more range, which is, is good for me. Well, Genome's going to get you a uh, setup with a green screen and it's going to look fabulous. <laughs> and, and he wants to be completely technical. If, if you're trying to do it uh, correctly on Twitch, Nowadays, yeah. it's all about bikini-clad women in hot tubs. So, well, that uh, my hot tub, my hot tub is on the way. I have it ordered. You know, this is like a one, one step at a time. But you know, without starting, you don't get to the hot tub. So we will have uh, hot tub parties, Ron, when you come over. Um. Not bad. <laughs> make, make make sure to bring your linseed oil and your um uh what's the other uh thing for oil painting linseed oil oh turpentine could burn i don't know if we're gonna go there 
but uh so being our countries if you're from the united states 245th anniversary i decided to work on a captain america uh drawing today hopefully i will get it done in somewhat uh, a reasonable amount of time if not uh, i'll get to hear ron whine again although i got it uh, I, I I was just going to say, <laughs> having a Ron, yawn. Ha, well, having Ron wine is maybe better than having Zablo just out and out yawning and, and fading. At least he shows his face, but I think that's even worse when he's, when he's yawning on, on stream. And you wonder why Zablo doesn't come to your show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's an old retired man. He aged he aged fast when he retired. It was that was it. Did you hear us uh tweeting with little John about that Claremont book he's got? Yeah, what was the deal with that? Is that a and, rare a real rare thing or something? Yeah, I mean they just released this uh thing with little writing he put in it. It was limited quantities and he got one. It's cool. So I told him, you know, I'd watch it for him on the weekends when it got too busy for him. And Zablo chimed in like he would also help. And I just had to remind him, no, you're retired. I don't want you to have to work. I got this. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. No, Little no. John was like, I don't trust either of you guys. So no. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to stress Zablo any more than, you know, than retirement already has. Speaking of which, would you say if, it, you know, and and nobody knew this was coming, but if you were going to retire and you retired in 2020, would would that have been kind of like a blessing in disguise, or would you be kind of cursing because most people, you know, still got paid for not showing up at work? It was a blessing for him and what he does. He would have been around all those little PT petri dishes. Uh, I don't know. They closed the school down for the last, you know, like when Jacob left on, I think it was Christmas break. Okay. He, uh, it's true. He didn't go back. Now, but imagine the stress then of being the superintendent, having to figure that crap out. And then, all well, if he was the superintendent, then, or whatever it was, he was, he was a principal of an elementary school at, he, yeah, I still am sure that had a lot of stress. Parents yelling about <laughs> masking, other parents yelling about not masking. No, nobody came back. It, it was like you're you're done for the year. They couldn't even uh you know when when this happened, they tried to do online and they couldn't even, you know, there was there was no plan ever in place for this type of stuff and then even going into uh the 2020 school year which finished in 2021 they still didn't have it figured out well you're gonna like this uh genome is having uh cap 286 as the uh, highlight of his next show oh okay that's the the death lock yeah cover, right it is well mr gino he's he's playing it fast with the uh, cap and the, the Zek Beatty art. I was actually at the Mississippi convention when he did uh, his watch party of Unforgiven. He invited me and I think I was actually still at the house and on my way to get on the plane or maybe I was actually stopped over in, in Atlanta waiting for my connecting flight. Can't remember what, but anyway, so it goes. I did a, uh, uh, if, if you're a member of the Facebook Captain America group, I did a podcast for them that will actually not, not be around until August, beginning of August. So, 
they they go well in advance you know they get it done so they can go in and edit and do whatever they need to do sound you know mm-hmm. fix sound cut out little bloopers or whatever that you know i don't i don't really know if i had any bloopers i guess i'll find out on the final cut i i'm guessing they don't have a blooper reel for you <laughs> you never know they might now they might they definitely might so had you seen where um our adams was doing uh indiegogo cover of red sonia with it was with joyce yeah yeah so that just finished up and uh i mean i know i know it wasn't his it was you know the publisher had him do the cover and joyce dynamite. The cover, dynamite but i think they only did uh twenty thousand, and i'm 20. wondering how how much they uh actually cleared with that because you've got the cost of the publishing and i started counting how many units they sold and they only sold maybe 70 or 80 of his regular cover and then less than that of the virgin and less than that of the metal cover Hmm. well that's nick barucci's company and he's you know who Nick Barucci is? I don't. Okay. Uh, you might be too young, but he made his money back in the day when QVC, when they were selling signed books on QVC. So you probably don't even know about that, right? No, I, I never knew that was even a thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was one of the first people to uh, get in on having... A lot of people signed books and then selling them for, um, you know, uh, a bit more uh, cost. So it, it, it was actually before CGC and stuff, it was a big thing to, to be able to get like a whole creative team or whoever um, sign your books. And, you know, Nick would hustle and get people you know, put together and have to travel and set up uh, these signing areas where he could bring in the penciler, the writer, the inker. Um, it, it it was kind of like a thing in the 90s where eventually, you know, it, it kind of showed its true, you know, value. Yeah. But at the time, it was it was big. I'm I'm surprised you never. But I I keep forgetting how young you are. I collected in the '90s. I just uh, I was not ever watching QVC, and uh, I wasn't looking for autographs or any of that stuff at that time. I was just reading comic books, <laughs> and they were still kind of affordable then. They were like a buck. Uh, what was comics? Comics, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say signed comics, no, or you know, these were, you know, these were pretty well priced. Yeah, so I was just wondering, you know, did he end up going for like twenty five hundred copies, or was he just gonna print what was sold? Uh, case that's gonna make that very limited. I'm sure you got yours. Oh, of course I got mine. <laughs> but um, I don't know. You know, I, like, is it on Indiegogo or was it a Kickstarter or both? Uh, just Indiegogo. Okay, because you know Indiegogo has that thing where you can go thirty days or even more to extend it. You know that you may not get all the perks because it's in i didn't know that yeah i forget what they call it but it's it's like still available if you missed out on the and it may not be like as discounted so you may be paying a, a little bit higher price but you still have an opportunity to to get it 
It's just if there's certain perks at the very beginning, those disappear. Gino may know what it's called, what the actual um, uh, extension period is. Although that didn't sound very good, we'll just run with it because. <laughs> QVC was for old ladies and housewives, Genome says. It, it really was. Um, really is. Well, it still is, but it, you know, when they had those comics on there, uh, I guess they got the audience, the, the, you know, the investors that were at the time thinking, wow, I'm, I'm going to get these comics and, you know, you see a, an action comics or something go for a million dollars and your mind reads that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy these books, put them away for three to six months and my kid yeah. can go to college. You mean like X-Men number one with Jim Lee or Spawn number one? Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you can, you can basically find them pretty much in the quarter bin now, right? Yeah. Oh, so genome says my voice got really low. It did. Is it better now or still low? No, it's still low. I haven't changed anything. Uh, I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah, I haven't touched. Let me see if I can turn up a volume. Pump up the... Oh, I bet, <laughs> bet better not go there. You can go there. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, now you're good. Yeah, it doesn't sound that close. You're not going to get copyright infringement on that. Yeah. So you say. So you say, until I do. What's oh, the worst? How about that? Turns out I was wrong, John. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. All right, well, good luck paying your fine. Yeah. Well, there wouldn't be a fine. You know what the fine is? 30, 30 days or not, no, 90 days in YouTube prison where you can't live stream. So kind of like what you've been doing anyway. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You, oh, they, you, they'll show you. you. You can still record videos and upload them. It's, it, you can't live stream. No live streaming allowed. Which, oh well. Let's see, Genome's done videos on the speculative uh, early 90s. It was so ridiculous. Stuff that just hit the shelves would be 10 or $20 <laughs> 30 days later just because of the cover artist. It's true. Yeah. And you did have those dealers that you know, when a book started selling, they would know something was going on and they might take the, you know, whatever stock they had off their shelf mm -hmm. and hold it to see what's going on. They still do that. And then, yeah, they do. And then jack it up when they realize that, hey, suddenly, you know, my competition down this, well, across the street, because... I remember it was like gas stations. Comic shops were literally on every corner of a block. Especially in Orlando. I, I, I kid you not. Mm -hmm. Almost every intersection had one or two comic book stores during that time. Gino might remember those days. He said unscrupulous uh, comic book shops would pull popular stuff fast and mark it up shortly thereafter. Yep. It was true. Well, unfortunately, I think some of those tactics still haven't died yeah. off. Yeah, it seems like your local people might. I don't want to get you in trouble with them, but they they don't watch this stream, do they, Ron? No. no my people are pretty good. Well, they should be. You're You're probably their best customer. Probably one of them, yeah. Except, so when the owner used to do the pull list, 
I was always very well taken care of. Right. But, you know, but now he's hired like four or five, I mean, really young people. Uh, I don't really know if they even know too much about comic book or the artists. Mm -hmm. So I would always have like pull Bagley cover, pull Art Adams cover, you know. Right. And now they're missing them every single time. I'm having to go up on the shelves and pull them out. And I'm just, I'm just whiny. <laughs> I like pulling for certain artists. I, I like collecting certain artists' covers. I know you do. Art Adams is one of them. Yeah. But then they'll pull all their, like, oh, here's the one in 100 variant. So we saved this for you. Just because they want the hundred bucks. <laughs> no, I want that five dollar R. Adams cover. Yeah, I I could care less about the other one. But but we ordered five thousand copies so we could get this for you. Yeah. <laughs> so Orlando had so many comic stores back then. This is from Genome that he frequented several of them uh, very often, including Mister Ivy's place. Yep. And he said, it, is Bag still doing the image thing? Um, I think you're I mean, meaning Bagley, I'm assuming. I know he's still doing some uh, covers for Amazing Spider-Man now, again. Okay, so I'm just looking at this show on stream. I don't know if I can have that come in from a different direction. I was going to ask, can you move that comic bar, comment bar? trying to get rid of it now oh here we go um that's interesting because i okay so we're on melon but when we were using Streamyard, you could actually control that right ron mm -hmm. you could control the comments that N no only when i would start the show under your name okay that makes sense Because, see, I'm trying to figure out what is the best platform for me. I I don't know. Mm -hmm. This one is $10 less. It's got its pluses. It's got its minuses. Um, you just I want good functionality. Huh? You just want it to function good. I just hate that Mallard Head logo. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I know you did. Well, Genome said he's always liked Bag Spider-Man so much more than Larson's, which I completely agree. Uh, great Venom, too. And, uh, yeah. Probably my favorite Venom. I like them both. I, I had the chance to ink Eric, and it was a blast, because um, I can't remember what it was on if it was amazing or something but i think it was a three part or two part and eric's stuff was pretty wacky and i was using like some big bold brush strokes not the little um line work that he was probably used to mm -hmm. um so i'm gonna start laying down some ink on this but i just want to kind of get some of this potential darker pencil that'll smear out of my way wow we've already we've already almost been going for a half hour of course we did have that technical uh, difficulty see that's that the one was thing annoying. i it, but it's happened to us every time i've scheduled a stream every time yep Whenever I'm like, oh, you know, they're like, you can go with one click and I do the one click and you get booted. Drops. And, yep. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I might just have to drop everything. <laughs> I just, if, that's, if that's the case, we got to start singing. Let's really push the limit on that. Yeah, let's, 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 let's find out where. How far we can push it. Where's the yeah. line drawn? Where does the rubber meet the road? So Genome said Bags didn't draw Spider-Man anorexic, which was nice. No, he didn't, but he did draw him thin. Slender. Thin, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, it wasn't like he was bulky. Nope. Um, and it's it's kind of hard to get that, you know, that really slender build and and not make it look too weird, you know? Because mm-hmm. I have seen people drawing way too skinny. I can't, Now, if you're doing it on purpose, if it's, you know, if you're doing like a pinup or something and it's going to be just, hey, I'm going to have fun. I'm really going to make Spider-Man lanky and, you know, kind of weird looking. Mm-hmm. I get that. But in a whole book, I don't know. Trying to... Is that annoying enough? (laughs) Trying to annoy the crowd. Uh Uh-oh. The gray man's in here, and I just... I just... uh, The cap of this pen just came off. Better go for the X-Acto knife. This one would not push through. I have no idea. Let's just... Ah, there we go. Pays to have an X-Acto knife sitting around. Never know when you're going to need one. For good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Happy Leave Us Alone England Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Greetings, Redcoat. <laughs> Is that what he wrote? Genome. Oh. <laughs> Well, hold on. I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. Cup of tea. (laughs) Are you in Boston? You gonna have a tea party? (laughs) Yeah, I I have my green tea. There you go. I didn't even think about that. But I believe I should be drinking a what is it, Earl Grey or an Earl Grey, and just let them know I didn't pay taxes on this. (laughs) <laughs> because here when i go buy earl gray tea in the grocery store it's a food item that they don't tax what do you think about that gray man although could i be wrong tea is not an essential they might they tax some foods it's not essential right i have they don't tax uh food you're right but junk food they do i don't know if that uh i don't know where that would fall yeah tea's one of those you know you 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 can live without it what were you saying now about junk food that's taxed like chips and stuff yeah isn't it man i'm i'm beginning to wonder now if it is or isn't Genome said Earl Grey is for cold evenings. We don't get many of those here. How about wet, rainy, gray? There you go. (laughs) Early afternoons. Yeah, like about four. I had some tea yesterday. It was uh, a peach, ginger, turmeric, cayenne, pepper tea. Oh, that sounds nasty. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> well, you had to do something to calm your stomach down, right, Ron? <laughs> no, I just needed more fluids in it. I was getting tired of drinking water. There's no caffeine in it, so it was all right. Now, was that a tea you made, or was no, it that oh, celestial? Oh, that sounds like a celestial seasonings blend. Yeah. See, was I right? It was th- that type. Um, I think he actually had just a Walmart brand, but it was good. So let me know, Ron, because I can't see if I'm covering the drawing, if, if, if I need to, you know, this whole new two cam setup is sounded like I said two can, two can. Now those are 
Darjeeling days, Ron. What is what is Darjeeling? I don't, I don't know that. And uh, Genome said, Celestial se Seasonings, those are the people who watch QVC. <laughs> he knows a lot about QVC. I know a lot about it because my mom sits in there Your with mom. it. mom. Yes. With it on Mute. no volume. <laughs> and it drives me crazy. Just the captions. She just likes looking at the things they're selling. Uh, it's annoying. And switches back to that in jewelry TV. Well, she probably thinks, you know, Captain America's annoying. Well. And, you know, your friend's coming over throwing out her boxes is annoying. That is it, you know. <laughs> That 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 really that that could land a person in trouble with the old lady. Yeah, that that could get on her bad side real quick. Not that you would know anything about that, but I'm just saying. Well, Mike, for, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say for your you know future consideration, you you know. When you come over, make sure not to throw out anything without her permission. Yeah. Because everything in the house is, is so valuable. Well, I mean, she probably grew up in a time where you didn't have, you know, the luxury of throwing away certain things. I got a wife like that, too. But she didn't grow up in a time. She grew up in a country. A place, where, yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I got Simil two... Two people that have similar mindsets. And me, Ron, you've seen me throw stuff away. It's like, you know, what? I don't want this computer. I just bought this computer two years ago. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to throw it in the dump unless you want it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike Heads here says, your sister was the middle woman, but she worked at a gas station that my family went to often. And you gave me some art and even drew a custom vampire. I still have those hangings on my wall. Thank you. Well, hey, Mike, uh, don't remember that, but if I did, I'm happy to have had had the time to do it. Um, that was probably something my sister, the AKA kidney lady, got me involved in. She was always getting, uh, talking to people and then volunteering that, oh, I can get my brother to do you a drawing. What do you want? It's like, Hey, I'm famous because my brother's John Beatty. It, it, it's like, that's his hobby. He doesn't have a job. This is hobby. He just does this for free. Yeah. But no, that's, that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm glad to hear stories like that. Shows I do have a, a heart, right, Ron? There you go. I will give a shout out to our man, Sean. He said he would have the stream on. Uh, yep. Hopefully he still does. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but just in case, we'll give him a, a shout. We'll shout it out. So you haven't so, seen uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood yet, have you? No, I haven't. Did you? Yeah. And then I finally went ahead and broke down and purchased it on Amazon. It was down to eight bucks. Oh, my I gosh. You must have really liked it. Wanted to see it again. Since then, I've watched it like three more times. You must have really liked it. I like it, yeah. I heard it was really good. And, and I know what you mean. If it's eight ninety nine and it's what, like a $3 rental? You're like, you know, for five bucks more, I could, I could just own it, right? Kind of one of those. Thinking, huh? you know, eventually it's going to get on one of the streaming channels. 
but it hasn't and it's been out since 2019 oh really yeah i just thought i probably missed it and i, I told you it's available on stars it was where on stars but if i were to sign up for that i'd forget to cancel it and then i'd end up paying for a full month of stars so at that point it was just cheaper to grab it for eight bucks for me i'll i'll wind up forgetting to cancel something for like six months that i'm not using like Streamyard last year figurosity just ding me this morning oh yeah is that the so that should be coming up for you you got it shortly after i did yeah but you know what the the card that i had put down i think it expired oh good so i'll either be getting an email from them i like it i just forget to use it yeah i wish they had a few more you know diverse poses right but I like the 360 uh, uh, factor on it and that you can get that up upshot on a lot of them. Right. Upshot and downshots. So no barbecuing, huh, Ron? Man, it's still raining over here. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not stopped. Just waiting for that uh, tropical storm or whatever's going to end up hitting us. Tuesday? Is that still the? Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm looking at Wednesday as of this morning projections. They're not sure what's going to happen when it goes over Cuba exactly. Yeah, they never are. Except they know it will slow it down a bit. Yeah. Hopefully it'll slow it down completely. I don't want to deal with it. <clears throat> so let's see. We're gonna we're gonna try this feature out, Ron. That right. We were looking at last night. So then I go to this and then just for fun, we can zoom in on the art now. How's that? very zoomy yeah so instead of me having to hold it up to the camera can you see it now still kind of low lit you know mm -hmm. so the paper looks gray or at least it does to me but that's all the way out i don't know let's see let's go about 150, 189, 211, 238. How's that? Is that a good? Yeah. Or 270. 270. Either, either one of those you could work on, but I think your hand's going to cover a lot of it, maybe. We'll see. No, oh, that's no. good. Yeah, that's I, good. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. There's the, the, the separate view. There's this view. So I can say, hi, everybody, while I'm working. How are you doing? Let's see. I want to reread my kids. Uh, your sister was the middle woman. But she worked at a gas station. The middle woman. It's got yeah. me curious. What's yeah, your love, the love sandwich? That's what I. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. We don't want to put that visual in your mind. That's very inhumane of me. Hey, Sean, how you doing? We we gave you a shout out there, bro. You. I, I told Ron you would be at least listening. Yep. Oh, he texted me. Oh, okay. Love sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I guess he's talking about the kidney lady, not my other sister. Hmm. He's here all day. He, he, he always is. He's an all day kind of guy. Call him Sean all day. Sean all day. 
Hey, that kind of sounds good. <laughs> Don't it? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be his, his, uh, his comic book character name. So have you done any more of the acrylic? I I haven't done any of them. Oh, okay. I've had people to take care of. <laughs> That's why it's been so hard for me to even just stream. You saw how hard it was for me today. Yep. I, I wasn't sure I was even going to be able to make this happen because, you know, I spend five or ten minutes, you know, doing a, a John thing, like maybe playing one game of chess or something. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, it seems like time like catapults and it's like time to do something, you know, that my mom needs or... Uh, something else comes up so huh somebody's here oh it's my not, not my sister no it's my niece Janelle so I told you about my brother-in-law's arm, right, Ron? Yep. Okay, so they... He Apparently, he said it... Maybe when he was laying in the hospital bed, it kind of went back in itself. Mm -hmm. Which I guess it could. But I still think they would have a doctor make sure it's kind of correct, you know? Like, didn't just fall in. But... So he's supposed to be wearing a, a sling. You probably know all this, right? Mm -hmm. To keep the arm from hanging, which would do what? Well, it could re-dislocate. And also not let the tendons and the, uh, the muscle and the, uh, what's the other, uh, ligaments? Ligament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wouldn't wouldn't really let them heal because they're hanging instead of pulled up tight to his body where it it would seem more comfortable to you know support this and and not have your shoulder pop out again right yeah he's ignoring it <laughs> oh good yeah so and they didn't do an MRI they they said if it still hurts in a week uh you know Go see your doctor and they'll take care of it. So he's on some painkiller. And so when the painkiller kicks in, doesn't hurt. So he figures he doesn't have to wear the sling. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. They could have just done without doctors altogether. Just yeah. Enough narcotics. They forget about it. and Right. But yeah. that's, you know, to me, that's the humorous part is. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. People don't get that, you know, that, no, they, you know, he's complaining that the sling hurts. And I'm thinking, you know, if that thing pops out again and it gets real loose and. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh... Hey, that's 50% of the patients I care for. Don't listen to crap you say anyway. I believe it. So... I believe it. They all know better than you. They do. They do. Well, the pain went away with that painkiller. So yeah, yeah, that's why it's fixed. <laughs> so Genome says you don't play chess. You play bullet chess with him. You take him out meal style. Oh, he beat me the last few times, but I, I thought I had him. I probably I probably did have him, but I, I blundered because I was 
I got used to playing five minute chess, but I, I usually try to play it in three minute. But I, I can't play three minute chess. And Genome would thank and thank and thank, and I'd be like, he's going to run out of time. And then he would get me into a, a bad situation that then I'd be like, oh, that, that was my main move to kind of, you know, flag these guys on the clock. But Genome was having nothing to do with that. Although yesterday I had quite a little string of luck. I, I beat a couple of players that I thought were going to just really kill me in the five-minute games. You know what I played yesterday? Backgammon. You ever played I've, that? I've never played that. That was actually pretty fun, I think. I've I've set him up and knocked him down. Hey, oh, no. Bowling. No, that's... Uh, but it's the... um. Wait a minute. I'm thinking of dominoes. Yeah, this was like little <laughs> black and white checker kind of looking pieces on triangular shapes. Back. Oh, no, I have never. I, you know what? I have played that, but I don't. It's been so long. I don't know the rules and I don't really understand it. Genome hasn't played it since the 80s, he said. Yeah, it was real popular then. Looks like Othello pieces with a dice cup. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, there's a lot of it has to do with what you roll and the moves and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Boy, I, you know, I hear my new computer, and I don't know if you're picking that up. Like, sounds like the fan's running, and it should not be making that noise. Right, let me listen. Let me see. I have some stuff set on top of it. Okay. It's. I cannot hear a thing. No. Nope. But when I take the papers off, it cools down and it's not running so much. I guess so. It's just light papers, you know. But it's. It was like that when I first cranked it up. I was like, uh oh. You know, two years old, it's been sitting in a box. Now the fans are, you know, They're Jacob was here when I, yeah. Uh -huh. Can't be dusty. <laughs> yeah, but used. I don't know. It, it, it kind of was one of those things where I'm like, well, my, you know what? And I didn't know that my warranty on this would expire, even if I, you know, I thought when they saw that it was fired up, then it would kick in, but no. From purchase date? Yep. Yeah. And then they kept trying to sell me like a warranty. But I was like, it's brand new. So Sean is eating an Amy's frozen burrito. And I'm pretty sure that's not a euphemism for something. <laughs> you know, that's got me uh, hungry for Mexican now. <laughs> I'm having a Ron day today, I think. Yeah, Sean cannot hear your little fan of your computer either. Okay, well, that's good, but... It's it's not as bad as it was. It's It's calming down, but it's kind of a concern, you know, because for all intent purposes this is a new computer there now it's slowly ticking into nothing well sean uh, disposed of about 20 pallets of computers two days ago wow how many uh computers are on a pallet do you think were they new or used. I bet you a pallet would hold thinking of your box. Probably 18. I 
think that's my niece, Janelle. I don't know. Right. Oh, no, it is Anne. Oh, good. Get her in here. <laughs> you want her? No. <laughs> so Genome wants to know from Sean. So when it's empty, is the palate cleansed? Like from any harmful stuff, right? I'm assuming. I have no idea. I think it was like a food eating, palate cleansing. Ah. Uh, Maybe. He does have a cooking channel. That's true. I liked his cooking. You've eaten it? Huh? You ate it? No, no, no. I, I liked when Genome was doing his cooking. About 30 per pallet. Gigantic server parts. You know, I forgot to tell the kidney lady I was streaming, so. Well, it wouldn't be one of your shows if she didn't interrupt, so <laughs> I'm kind of just hoping for it. Hey, kind of, kind of waiting for her to open the door. What are you doing? I hope she comes in and is mean to you right away. In his what? Stream. I hope she says something mean right away to you. Oh, she doesn't say much mean to me. She'll say something mean about my mom or about her husband. That idiot. Do you know what he's doing right now? <laughs> Alex Big Blue is here. Says Happy Fourth of July, guys. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Happy Fourth of July, back to you. She's talking about shooting people in there. She's been talking about shooting people ever since she got her little thirty-eight. <laughs> this is why now they're, they give they, crazies guns. They 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 will launch an investigation now because I said that, and the YouTube police will will investigate. No, uh -oh. they're going to look at your IP address, realize it's Florida. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Florida. That's fine. Everybody carries in Florida. Whether they're allowed to or not, yeah. Yeah. Everybody is a jokester today. Sean, are you doing anything for the fourth? Just working. Making they, the cold hard cash. They probably have a nice fireworks show up there, right? Oh, I bet they did. Well, mm. over the the bay, or if they yeah, they probably did. I don't know if they're still doing it. I think Ann just came over to com complain to my mom about her problems. Well, your mom will yell at her in a minute, and <laughs> then Ann will come in and yell at you. Yeah, she'll come in and say, "What? What? What's wrong with her? Who peed in her cornflakes?" And I'll say, "Well, it wasn't me." <laughs> At least she's not, you know, asking for anything. 
So have you decided whether you're going to take this to color or are you going to leave it in black and white? Um, well, I definitely won't get it to color on this stream. No. <laughs> but uh, I'll definitely take it to... There we go. We've just been talking about you while we're live streaming. Who are you talking to? Everybody. Hey, the world. The world? The yeah. world. What you, you been talking about me? Uh, I was hoping you were going to come in here and say something mean to John live. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of which, do you know somebody named Mike Head? Yeah. He was All on right. here. Yeah, he's my good friend. Said you worked at a gas station. You were. The, he said you were the middle. Middle woman. Middle woman. Middle woman. I yeah. At the tire store. He well, was... I don't know what he meant by you were the middle woman though. I told you, love sandwich. That's what everybody, that's what the, the, the room voted on it and figured you were the the, the the meat and the sandwich. Well, she wasn't the meat. She was. <laughs> See, you're on camera right there, Ann. Oh, I know. And I'm hey, looking great today. Every, here, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put my sister in me. There we go. Hello, everybody. Everybody. Get my head back in here. The infamous kidney lady is, is, is actually on. Yeah, he was. Uh, I still have him on Facebook. I talked to him. See, now I, I can. I think he meant because, like, dad was the owner and I did what? all the other stuff. Like, complain and whine and. Yeah, write up the tickets and take the money. And go get lunch and feed your face. Yeah, you know, the good things. So, this is the infamous. This is the first time on camera for the kidney lady. I'm not the lazy one. No, she's she's not the one from Vegas. <laughs> Just so y'all know. But she is the one that's been in there complaining to my mom about how much pain she's in. I have three bulging discs, a cyst, fibromyalgia, diabetes, uh, diverticulitis, mm. and he thinks uh, I'm making it up. Just because he gets a boring, boring blood work every time he goes. Well, you know. Thank I, God I, I took all the ailments from the family. I, I try to tell her how she can correct some of these things, and she John, doesn't. We, we just lost yeah, all our viewers. Yeah, ask him about what he had for dinner last we, night. We just lost all our viewers, John. Yeah, I, I, I believe <laughs> Ask him what he had for dinner last night. <laughs> well, I, I don't need to ask him. I know. <laughs> I, I had a grilled ribeye steak with. Oh, lunch than it was. With Kerrygold butter on it, he and it was delicious. His, he went to get his kid some McDonald's, and he just couldn't resist. That's true. I just came from Wendy's and got the strawberry salad. Uh, Dr. Dr. Kaz says he's available Monday for your oh. bulging disc. Okay, okay. He's, he's in the <laughs> Atlanta area. You'll have to make a little trip up. Good. Cancel your vacation and I'll go up for a couple of weeks. I have nothing else to do. I have no vacation yet. It's your I discs. <laughs> I thought you and the, the missus and the kid were going to. Yes, but we don't have solid plans yet. I need to. He never has solid plans. He lets me know two hours before he's leaving. Sounds like your family. You have yeah. plans and then your husband. Oh, <laughs> Annie. He dislocates his shoulder. Yeah. That fool is driving with no sling to the fireworks with well five kids i guess tonight. the show's over no i'm <laughs> going back out here to keep your mama company good because i already did all the work i know that's why i showed up yeah i know <laughs> <sighs> well kaz uh that would be a job unfortunately but yeah she she does have she she her back was bugging her her neck was actually okay they said the mri showed she has three bulging discs in her lower back so i don't know what they're gonna do sean says we were in miami two years ago today wow that was the super con right yeah that's pretty incredible when you think about it. It was a July 4th weekend. Hmm. Interesting.
Well, steak, are you rich? No, steak is not that expensive. I had, I bought two nice uh, ribeye steaks, bone in, Ron. There you go. Um, it was That's about, you did, though. huh? You, you needed to do it the right way. Yeah, but you know what? When Bella cooked them this time and I took that slice of Kerrygold butter and put it on while it was still hot and let it just melt in, delicious. Just delicious. And Bella's like, I thought you didn't like ribeye. I said, well, the fat around the side. I think she still needs to maybe, I don't know, tip it up on the grill and get that fat on the side seared Seared. a bit more. Yeah. With the tongs or something, you know, like mm-hmm. I saw a guy blowtorch a ribeye and and do that with the fat, and it just he said it's like butter. It's it's just like you know, makes it like butter. That's what I'm talking about. The butter, baby. But yeah, when Ron, when you you were giving me those instructions, I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> as soon as it involved, as soon as it involved, like what the uh, meat probe, temperature probe, the, the meat probe, and even the like, okay, you know, do you do you have space in your refrigerator to to, to like bleed the steaks or something? No, 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 you're not bleeding them. You're letting them air dry, dry age. I give them eight know. hours i didn't have eight hours it was it was five in the morning you had eight hours <laughs> no it wasn't five in the morning no but it was early it was like what 10 i'll look you had time maybe maybe i would have had time you had time you said i had time but i got no well plus you didn't cook them till i think the next day anyway no, Bella cooked one for me that night on the skillet because it looked like it was going to rain. And uh, it turned out really nice. Like I said, I, I kind of, you know, I maybe it was just the ribeyes. I, well, I picked out the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. I just got some good ones. That's all. That's, that's These are yeah. the ones I helped you pick out. No. These were... Ones I just picked out that day, I texted you and said, Hey, Ron, what's that special recipe for making those ribeyes like melt in your mouth? Man, old Brown was on to something, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, he always is, but I'm not prepared to, to take it that far yet. Well, Sean said Miami uh, was a good super con, they had an amazing green room and Bang girls. <laughs> That's true. And Ron missed the his his favorite bang girl. Hey, I my bang girl sent me a private message. Well, she did. Because of you. Oh, oh, that's right. It was funny too, because I went over and just said, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know it was her. I just got that picture and said, Look what you're missing out on. And and you're like, that's so and so. And I went, I have no idea. Yeah, you're Nisha. And then I had to go back and go, hey, could you, like, could we do a video? Make my friend Ron a little jealous. She said, no problem. Yep. She's uh, so, so kidney lady leaves my door cracked, of course. <laughs> Good. Busting in there like a hurricane. Yeah complaining taking over the show take it took <laughs> over the show her and my mom are having their their daily argument over whatever i 
I know they enjoy fighting with each other, though. That's that's just part of their dynamic. Uh, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. If they didn't, then I would worry. I'd be like, wait a minute, <laughs> something ain't right here. One of them is is flipped their wig. So, someone's sick. That's right. Something something smells in Denmark. No offense to my Denmark friends. That's just the saying, right? I don't know. I don't know that saying. Where's it from? I have no idea. I think I've just heard it before. Somebody will let us know. Hopefully. I used to have a guy that would look stuff up. Like immediately. Hmm. He was great. That? He was great. Kind of sound like a tool. Like, who? <laughs> like a tool. Not really. He enjoyed like hitting us with the facts. Facts of life. That's right. Uh, Get your mom her hungry man dinner yet? Gino I did. Is curious. Yep. That and they had these uh, cornbread things. They're like at Publix. Um, they're not like they're like uh, muffin tops or something, but they're big. <laughs> muffin tops. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. My mom's muffin top. Corn muffin top. <laughs> But no, they, 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 man, I'll tell you, they look really good. They're like a disc that you're supposed to put in the toaster. So they're kind of big, you know? Okay. So she had me cut her one in half and put it in the microwave for a little bit with her hungry man dinner. And I said, Mom, I, I think your eyes are getting a little bit too big for your stomach here. But whatever she can eat, you know, she'll finish whatever she can't. Just toss it. I'm like Sean. I had to. I had to toss a pallet of uh, <laughs> cornbread muffin tops. I need to get faster, but I've said that for, you know, quite a long time. <laughs> I'm just reading Sean's stuff again. Bang Girls, Amazing Green Room. Get your mom her hungry. Man. So what was uh, so amazing about it? Uh, Broder, that was his last show. He puts on a nice spread. I mean, it's like endless. Um, you know, it's, it's not like if you miss out, it's not going to be restocked. So it's, 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 it's a good one. Well, so I think... Maybe I'll get these eyes inked in and call it for the day because we're we're well over an hour, right, Ron? Uh two twenty four. Two hours and twenty four? No, no, it's it is two twenty four. Oh. <laughs> Probably a little over uh hour ten. Yeah. Ink time maybe an hour. You gotta do the top of the skull still though, right? Yeah, but I'm just probably going to get the features and then i'll you know okay. it's kind of boring you know when i'm doing this stuff i think i don't know some people like it get you to a part two video nah i just get it finished just get it finished and and maybe sit on it and decide whether or not i'm gonna do color or grayscale or or maybe nothing, you know, maybe just leave it in the uh, 
the pure form of black and white? Don't know yet. Now, was this piece going out to someone, or is this just a... Nope, this was just for the 4th of July. I figured I would do a Captain America. Seem fitting. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Sit on it. Did we have a Fonzie sighting? <laughs> who, who was Gino. that? Gino. Gino. Yeah. I should have guessed. Should have guessed. See, that's funny. Anne would know Mike Head. (laughs) 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 Ah, There's a joke in there somewhere. (laughs) I'm not touching it. Yep. I'll have to go out and get my mom and her started. I kind of do that sometimes. <laughs> Get them pinned up against each other. Yeah. I, Let I, your mom know she was the middle. <laughs> <laughs> mom, Ann was the middle at a gas station. But no, she she was quite famous for doing that, like uh, volunteering me to, to do artwork. Because, you know, it's a hobby run. Mm-hmm. it's not it's no work it takes me you know i can i can whip this out in what five five minutes yeah you You're know just being generous with your time here yeah yeah i'm just going slow for the stream because yeah that's it you know how people like stuff drawn out and long trying to get more watch time so. <laughs> <laughs> that minute count up that's right As anybody else who was doing this, you know, would would have it completed now. Pencils and inks from start to finish. It got quiet in there. Maybe they both dozed off or something. Go make sure one's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I would have heard a gunshot, and you you probably would have too. If if a gun was involved. Oh no, could have been just spontaneous. True. Nature taking its course. <laughs> And that could be on either one. Uh, yeah, I just <laughs> didn't say it, but I, I literally thought that it could be either one. Either one there could. Uh... Yeah, she she brought up my blood work because, well, you've seen my blood work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the doctor gets it and he's just all, he's, you know, like your blood works just so, it, it's boring. We don't, you know, the first time he said that, I'm like, is, is that good? And he goes, yeah, people would pay for your blood work. Uh-oh, now she's bothering my, my man, Jacob. She asked him what he was doing. He said, nothing. Nothing to see here. Close this laptop. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, leave me alone, Ann Ann. Now she's asking my boy what he had for lunch. That's a little personal. <laughs> it's his lunch, not asking the underwear questions. Well, you know, Ann Ann's seen him in his underwear, so it's okay if if she comes in and you know, Jacob, Jacob is an underwear and t-shirt wear around the house. That's the way he rolls. But if somebody comes to the house and he's not sure, like when you came Ron, had you seen him in his underwear? Yeah. So you were okay, right? 
he 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 stayed in his underwear which just looks they're boxers it just looks like a pair of kind of sports shorts anyway i do the same thing i get it yeah but you're 37 8 eight years 37 or 38 years old well, so, so. I, hey it's comfort right <laughs> it's comfort yeah that's why i can't stand up right now I, Danny I D. hey john happy fourth all hey danny hey danny nice to have you along for the last few seconds here i believe that's all right yep and it's just something like i said i got this i've been telling ron i want to do a two camera setup and i finally got to it last night so we we tested it out and then i hadn't planned on doing a stream but ron was itching for one <laughs> right ron yeah yeah ron was, ron was itching to stream And so I was like, well, yeah, I guess I could do something. So Okay, so I guess. And it gave me an opportunity to do a little something here, too. Would you like to show yours? Oh, no. <laughs> Well, it's it's digital, right? Or no, it's not. It's not. That's right. No, it's yeah, eleven by seventeen. Okay. Well, I guess I could have a touch of lunch myself. What you gonna go eat? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't know what we have. I might have to go get something. Anne's talking about something about food. I don't know if she's eaten. She probably has twice or three times. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> I will do the uh, Captain America. I will say goodbye to everybody. Happy Fourth of July. If you're going to cook out, if you're going to fireworks, be careful. Have a good time, and uh, then I'll shoot back to the artwork. Uh, we'll get this finished up. Don't know if I'm going to take it to a full color, black and white, gray tones. Uh, get it done first, and then deal with the rest. So far, I'm I'm liking this. I think it's got a nice look. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you follow me on Twitter. I'll probably at least post the black and white there. Um, and then if I get it colored, I'll post it again. If I, if you follow me on Instagram or if you don't, probably what I'll do is a progression. Like I'll do, I, my pencils are so kind of, you know, not tight enough where they're that interesting. I can ink from them, but I'll do like a black and white and then I'll do like maybe a phase one flat colors, a modeling you know, shadow type thing, and then kind of do from a start to finish, <clears throat> kind of how I use markers um, on this particular piece, because ain't no watercolor going on this with the brush marker, right, Ron? Yeah. Although some people have done it, so. Okay, well, do, Dr. Do a Cass. test panel. Huh? Do a test panel. No. <laughs> Dr. Kaz says hit him up on TikTok. There you go. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, we'll see you next time. Look for me on uh, Twitch sometime coming soon. I'll announce it on Twitter. Ron, you want to say bye? Later, guys. Happy 4th. All right, now how do I end this? Where? Oh, there it is. The, the bottom. See, it's been a while. Later, Sean. All right. Later, Sean. Take care. See you all next time. Be good.